Welcome to Inspire for Travel. And I'm at the central point between Cape Town and Cairo, Egypt. At least that's what they say. Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wimba Imani and I'm currently in Arusha, in Arusha City. We'll be exploring this section of the city. This is the more upscale section. You will find a lot of banks, phone shops and other businesses in this section of town. So I'm going to show you what the more upscale section of town look like. And then we're going to go deep, deep, deep in town. You get to see a bit of the buses, where the intercity buses come, some of the market how some people do business in the in the streets here in Arusha. It will be a very good vibes today. So let's explore Arusha. Karibu sana Tanzania. Karibu sana Arusha. You are looking at the Arusha clock tower. Many people believe that the clock tower is situated at midpoint between Cairo, Egypt and Cape Town, South Africa. It is important to remember, however, some people have disputed this. Nevertheless, it is something that is commonly believed amongst many people. We're going to be kicking off the walk, walk here by the clock tower right behind me. I'm at the clock tower roundabout here in Arusha. So we'll be exploring the more upscale side of the city so let me show you what i'm seeing in front of me so far i'm really liking the vibe the roads are very wide in this parts very clean there's a beautiful sidewalks on each side so i'm liking the vibe let me show you what i can see in front of me right now tupo pamoja we are together it's what the roundabout you got to be quite careful when you're crossing a lot of vehicles coming through but there's a way for us to cross and here we go all right so you can see already I mean the roads are really wide here as well and I'm liking the fact that um, there are sidewalks I mean right now it's the evening time you know things are a bit cooling down in this side of town but you'll see another section which is much more busier than this side in my experience of traveling here so far there are a lot of offices and different um, white-collar jobs on this side of town and also things like you know hairdressers upscale style they got some restaurants here safari companies so all of this can be fine here, found here by the roundabout, clock tower roundabout. So this is quite easy to, to get to. I mean, once you tell the border border driver or your taxi to drop you by the clock tower roundabout, and then from there, literally, you just walk down a straight road and you're here. So, so far I've seen at least three banks since I'm walking and across here there's Exim Bank and you also got Rwanda Air offices over there as well. Airtel, another popular phone company here, mobile phone company here in Tanzania and they offer good rates on the internet and literally across the street here you can see this is the Vodacom, Vodacom shop I'm loving the green that's incorporated in the uh, as you walk around the city as well. 
Oh, by the way, that's DHL and Static Bank on the left right there. So if you're sending packages to Arusha via DHL, there are offices here in the city. Another bank as well, the National Bank of Commerce Limited. And one of the things I'm liking, I mean, now is the evening time. After five, the weather is around 26 degrees Celsius. So it's quite moderate temperature, not too hot. And you can see the traffic is moving quite freely. There isn't any traffic congestion or anything like that, which is quite good, actually, Arusha. Let's see if we walk further down if we will see some more. But from this section here in the evening time, I'm, I'm liking how traffic are moving without any congestion. And on top of that, I mean, we did a vlog in Dar es Salaam. And around this time, there's a lot, a lot of co traffic congestion. So this is quite good that here in Arusha seems quite calm. So by this bridge here, there's like a little stream here, like a river. So these are some of the things you will see here in the city. I mean, this water most probably is coming from uh, Mount Meru, which is the closest mountain here in Arusha. Kilimanjaro Mountain is more close to the other city which is Moshi which is the capital of the Kilimanjaro region however Arusha is the capital of the Arusha region so Definitely, if we're on the other side of town, which you're going to witness soon, you'll see a much more cha organized, chaotic vibe over there. But here seems much more calmer, most definitely, in comparison to Bondeni and that other section of town. Wow! There's a shop over there called London, London Bazaar. And they're selling kitchen stuff, pots, pans, and different things like that. A lot of buildings seem to be going to get renovated. I'm seeing some work been going on here so this is the Sokone road and right here you will find one of the big mosque here in Arusha
That's a moss over here. Quite a big one, it got a men and women section. As we hear, let me show you, if you look up here, these are all works that's been done and I guess they're going to be various apartment blocks, different houses are going to be here. So this is really good work that we're seeing happening in Arusha. And right across the street from this one, there's another one being done. So these are all some of the developments that's happening in the city. That's positive to see. And to my right, this section here is where we're going to explore later on and that will lead us to another section of town. But we're not going to go out there now, we're just going to carry on walking straight. Another Vodacom shop is here. So we got a little bit of a traffic congestion a little bit, nothing too serious. This is just one long road full of different businesses and to the other side of town you will get the more local markets. Very, very interesting and it's very easy to navigate around the city when things are like that because a lot of things have kind of concentrated in a certain area so it makes things easier to find in the city. I kind of, I really like that when I go to a city. where things are just at a central point and things are easy to find. So these are the local dollar dollar buses. I'm so you've seen it so many times in my videos.
to some some more apartment blocks on this side they're newly built so people will be moving in So this is the apartment block on a closer look. And if we walk further down, you'll notice it gets a bit busier because there's a market, kind of like a market we're coming up to. But then again, in comparison to the local road, the local, um, these are more local style businesses in comparison to the road we are just walking on. This is the Sikh temple right here. I'm not sure if it's still in operation. But it does have a sign that says Sikh Temple. So that kind of shows you the diversity of the area of Arusha. It's a multicultural city. So this side you can get, uh, like for example, that shop over there is saying Duka la Jumla na Reja Reja. Duka la Jumla na Reja Reja. That basically wholesale or you, or you can get retail price. So these are some of the things you could get on this side.